two, three, fuck it. back to our channel so today is a very different video from then I'm from what I normally do so today I'm basically just talking through life and myself at the moment I don't really know where to start with this video I'm just gonna kind of start off with I'm in a really shitty place at the moment and this is mainly because of people commenting and sending me disgusting and vile DMs on Instagram all because I've chosen to wean my son at four months. Now, yes, I know the NHS guidelines are saying six months, but like they ha it's not that they've been six it's not like the guidelines have been six months for like a solid 20 years or something. The guidelines have only recently changed in all fairness. So my mum weaned all her kids at four months. I've done so much research. I spoke to so many health professions about talk about weaning at four months. And they've all said that it's not an issue just to monitor and just don't replace the bottles with it. I have countlessly and countlessly explained myself that I'm not replacing bottles with food. I'm literally just giving him a little bit of food after a bottle. And it's only like, it's only like a quarter of a jar, if that, after a bottle, just so that his tummy fills up so that he gets a better night's sleep and he sleeps through the night. And I'm just getting vile people like sending me messages and commenting on my videos that like I'm such a bad mum because I'm doing this and he's gonna die and all this and that he deserves to die and I deserve to have him taken off me all because I'm bloody weaning him at four months like so many mums do that and just because I'm 16 years old and a teen mum doesn't mean that I'm any different from any other mum like if an other if an, if an, like an average old that sounds horrible if an average age mother weaned her child at four months no issue whatsoever but because I'm 16 years old there's so many issues and I'm sick of it like it's not fair on anybody that's my age and going through what I'm going through like being a teen mum is hard enough, let alone having all the hate. Like, there's absolutely no need for it. It's absolutely disgusting of what people are saying. And honestly, I try and ignore it to the best of my ability, but recently things have just been getting to me so much more, re like, so much more quicker. And it's just, I don't even know why I'm letting it to, because I know they're just stupid people. And most of them, literally, I think all of them, don't even have a child themselves or a younger sibling or anything. So they're just doing it because they're just trying to be mean and trying to pick faults at every single thing. And it does, it's just not worth it, but it gets so, it gets to me so much at the moment, and I just, I'm just finding so much lack of motivation in doing videos now, and posting on social media, because like, I'm trying to stop myself filming me giving him food in my vlogs, and it's just like, I shouldn't be doing that, because I vlog to show you my day to day, day almost, so if I don't show you that part of my day, that's, that's not me showing my day, that's not showing you the reality of a teen mum. And I'm not just going to stop weaning him because some 12 year old boys and girls say that I should stop weaning him. And like, it's two months, like, it's not even a long time ago. Fair enough if I was weaning him at two months old, but four months, like, I don't get it. By seven months, they should be eating three meals a day and reduced bottles. So I don't see how you're supposed to go from bottles, like, six, seven bottles a day like 20 throughout a 24 hour period at six months and then from seven months to having like three bottles and three full meals like i i'm just trying to start the weaning process slowly just so that he gets used to it and for some reason people just find that absolutely disgusting and disturbing and they've stopped watching my videos they've unsubscribed like i don't care about that but it's the the people the things that they're saying like if you don't want to watch my videos don't watch my videos it's not like i'm sat there in front of you forcing you to watch my videos or forcing you to subscribe like if you don't like me and you don't like the things I do unsubscribe but there's no need whatsoever to leave hate comments or DM me or like people are even finding my private Instagram account and like messaging me off of that and trying to someone's found my phone number somehow someone's got my phone number and they were ringing me and trying to tell me what a horrible mother I am and I'm just it's just it's just not fair on anybody like I'm going through enough being a 16 year old mum and the pressure will being on me, especially now because Zach's not here because obviously he only sees Oscar on Friday afternoon to Sunday afternoon because he's at work the rest of the week. So he has like 
so the pressure is all on me during the week and obviously I signed up for that and I would not regret I wouldn't take that back in an instant but I did not sign up for the hate and all of this and it's just given me such a lack of motivation to film YouTube and to continue to do all my social medias which I love and it's heartbreaking that I don't want to do that at the moment because I've always had a love for YouTube just because some horrible people are saying some horrible things I it's just making it just it just hurts me and it's it's not fair on Oscar either because the attention should be on him and if I'm sat here crying upset about something that one person has said to me, he's not going to get the attention he needs and then babies can pick up on body language as well so if I'm upset, Oscar's going to be upset and that's not, that's not something that a child should have to feel, especially this young, it's just not fair. Like, I hate the amount of times like, I have to explain myself, like, I can't say one thing without having to explain myself because if I don't explain myself, someone somewhere is going to say something about it, but even if I do explain myself, somebody still says something about it and I just can't win in either situation. So it's just, it's just really getting to me because... I'm trying to do my best and I'm trying to film and make video content and I'm always, I try and be so positive throughout everything and like with things like this, I don't really see how you can be positive, but you know, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about, it's just, I just don't, it's just horrible and it's literally hurting me so much. So the second thing I want to talk about is why my voice is so quiet, so loads of people have been like, replying to me and stuff like on everything being like oh yeah we don't watch your videos because your voice is so quiet like my voice isn't like the only reason why my voice is quiet is because I can really only film quite late at night when all my siblings are asleep because otherwise they're shouting and screaming and having fun inside or outside because obviously <laughs> they've all got to be inside at the moment and anyways even if everywhere was still open schools are closed for the summer now so they'd still be here when I'm here majority of the day anyways so I can't film loudly at night because I film at night usually so I can't film loudly at night with my voice because I don't want to risk waking everyone else up because I'm trying to be thoughtful about everybody else in the household rather than just me because that's I, this is going to sound so self-centered, but that's the kind of person I am. Like, I put other people before myself. And I try and be so positive about every situation, but it just gets hard sometimes. I should literally be this mum that has to dress in long sleeve jumpers and joggers all day and messy hair and I can't have makeup I've, I've just got to be housebound and do nothing like and I've got to follow all the rules and it's just like that's not what you do when you're a mum you find what works for you and you you use that like whenever when all my viewers whenever you all have children if you've ever hated on me in the past <laughs> Oscar clearly has something to say to. But if you've ever said something horrible to me in the past, then when you're older and you have your own children, think back to what you said to two mums or to any mums in general, and then look at what you're doing yourself, because I bet you you're doing the same thing that we were doing, because you find what works best for you. If routines work best for you, you'd, you'd stick to a routine. If routines don't, then they don't, because some parents just feed off, like, they give their children, like, a bottle when they're hungry. Or some people feed every three hours. I've chosen to, to to feed him every three hours, but some parents do that differently, and that's absolutely fine because that works best for them with their routine and their lifestyle. It's literally just what you choose to do and how you choose to spend your time. And for some reason, motherhood should just be one rule and one rule only, and you've got to stick to that, which is disgusting that people think that because I try my hardest. Like I'm 16 years old. I'm going back to college in September. And I've got to leave my son most of the day during the week. And that's going to be heartbreaking enough, like, because I could miss so much of his life. And I hate that. But that's the issue with having kids young, that you miss out on things because you've got to do other things. And it's just all this hate. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling on. And I hate being negative on this channel because that's not the person I am. I'm usually so positive and I usually try and find a light in every single situation. And I've not let hate get to me, like, ever. Hate has never gotten to me since I started my channel in December. 
anybody that said anything on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, anything, I didn't let it get to me. But recently, this past month, it's just been getting to me so much, and I don't even know why. Like, all I can keep doing is just keep reading through my old comments, like even comments from like March and February, and I just keep reading all the hate comments from then, and it just gets me so down, and it just makes me hate myself, and that's not the person I am because I'm strong. Like, what I've gone through is something not a lot of teenagers can say they've gone through and that is astonishing I don't even know it's just it's just really hard like everything and then the last thing I want to talk about is like why I film in my room so I've had so many people also leave me comments and being like your son and you would fall wall fall wall Ew, why is there a fly go away um, you and your son are full walled, like, you never leave your room, like, we always leave my room, we go to Zach's house every Friday to Sunday, sometimes we stay a night or two extra, depending on the situation that's going on there, so we're always, like, we always go and do something when we're with them, so can we get out, because I can't really do a lot on my own here, because in the area I live in, there's no buses, there's, it's, there, we're just, I'm literally just surrounded by fields. There's literally nothing I can do apart from go and walk. So I go on walks with him. I take him up to the local park, but there's no shops, there's no nothing around here. Like, all there is is a petrol station, and that is it. So, I can't really do much with him anyways. <laughs> I always film in my room because that's where I feel most comfortable with because I am still quite a shy person like I have only been doing YouTube for seven months and I know that might seem like a long time to some people but it's gone by so fast for me like I can still remember the day I uploaded my first YouTube video like it was seven months ago my confidence has rocketed up since then but it's still not at the point where I can go out and do anything but then also quarantine's hit like We've been in lockdown for three, four, in for four months, really. So I had, what do you, what did everybody expect me to do? Go out and go to the zoo with Oscar while everyone's in lockdown? Like that's just not gonna happen. So I don't see why it's affecting anybody. Like as long as Oscar and me are happy, that's all that should happen. And again, if you don't like my content and you don't like my videos, unsubscribe and don't watch them. The only reason why I'm like confused about why, why my views are going down is because my subscribers aren't going down. If anything, my subscribers are going up quite fast and my views are going down quite rapidly and I don't get how that kind of works. But like obviously if they both decrease at the same time then obviously I know why. But I'm not going to... I'm not gonna stop posting the content I'm posting because other people doesn't like what I'm doing. It's my life. Obviously, I will film videos that you guys will enjoy to watch, like you guys enjoy watching, but I'm not gonna hide parts of my life and I'm not gonna film something that I don't wanna film or like lie to you guys, because that's not the person I am in the slightest. And I just hate, I just hate some people because they make other people feel so shitey about themselves. And I'm trying not to swear because last time I ranted, I swore a lot, and I don't want to swear because I've got a child and that's not very nice. He's eating my sleeve. To me, he's my baby and he's my child, and I'm his mum, and I do whatever I think is best for him. And that's all my bet. That's all my intentions are. Like, if you guys think I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Send it to me nicely. Like, oh yeah, I think maybe you should do this instead of this or something. It was just an idea. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, but rather, but rather than saying, oh yeah, you're a shite mum. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be a mum. You should have got an abortion. Oscar should die. Oscar, you should have put Oscar up for adoption and all this. And it's just horrible. Like. It makes you, as a mother, feel so shite about yourselves, and, like, I'm trying the best I can do with the resources I have, and clearly it's not good enough, and that's just really, really, like, upsetting, because I'm only looking out for my son's best interest, and... That's all I've ever done and all I ever will because he's part of me and my, he makes my life complete and I just I would never intentionally hurt him or do anything to cause him pain Like if I've done something wrong, then let me know and I will stop it straight away But when people are being mean about it and vicious and attacking you about something That's not one way to get somebody to stop for starters and I just don't know. 
so that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Sorry it's been a run and sorry I'm crying, but I'm just putting you. I'm just sick to death of people thinking that they can walk all over other people because it's absolutely disgusting and it's vile. And like nobody actually sees what goes on behind closed doors within people's personal life. Like I had a really tough time just before I got pregnant with Oscar and I just, I can't, I can't do that again. Like I just can't. I'm gonna stop this video here and stop crying and stop ranting and I'm gonna go and watch a movie and calm down and hug my son and give him some food because it, he's gonna be hungry in a couple of hours and I don't want him to be hungry and I don't want him to starve because that's the kind of mother I am and if you guys think that's so disgusting and horrible then please unsubscribe and just stop. Like there's absolutely no need. I'm gonna go and I hope you guys had a good day. I didn't, if you can tell, but, you know, everyone has good and bad days. Oscar's actually really good today, to be fair. He's getting so strong, and he's just so cute. I love him. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you... <laughs> Stop eating my hand. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this rant video. I don't even know. Um, but I'll see you all again in my next video, which will be me being fine again. This is just an off video because I just need to let this all out to everybody. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Oh, Oscar's been sick. Oh, Papa. When was that? I will see you again in my next video if you decide to carry on watching my channel. Bye. Oscar says bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye.